What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we never left. left. Y'all see behind us. Y'all see what we about to be doing tonight. It's, it's movie, movie night. night. <laughs> it's movie you. night. <laughs> Absolutely. You got it right on Right on right cue. On, it's right on Right dun, on cue. Dun, 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 dun. And I like the way it sounds, too. Dun, dun, dun. We might have to, we, we might have to do that. Night. We might have to actually be, be doing that right there. Yeah. Come on, come on. Do then something with that one. It's movie, movie night. night. It's movie night. Hey, you got to harmonize. Come on, let's do it again. One, two, three. It's, it's movie, movie night. night. There we go. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Now, we're about to be jumping into something we different tonight, that. Okay. We're going to be jumping into something a little different. What? We're going to be doing horror. It's, it's actually like horror thriller. Oh, gosh. So, like, Silence of the Lambs, I know that this came out in 1990 or 91. has Anthony yeah. Hopkins and it has Jodie Foster in it. Okay. Uh, Jodie Foster's name is familiar to me, but that's it. Jodie Foster. Yeah. But outside of that, we don't know anything about this movie. We don't know any of the backstory. So, we're going to be weighing it tonight on this one right here. So, we need y'all to kind of go on this journey with us with this, The Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, this is my and... first time ever, like, watching the movie. I have absolutely no clue what this movie's about. BJ told me it was a horror movie, but that's all I, I literally, that's all I know. Yeah. Outside... I'm hoping it's not like, it's not like Texas Chainsaw. I'm not sure. They 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 just said more of like a reality horror film. Like thriller. ghost stuff. Like ghost stuff I could do. Obviously, because it's funny. Yeah. But like... <laughs> but, but see, but yeah, but that's what I'm saying. This this isn't anything in regards to like supernatural. This is just like, just just hardcore, supposedly supposed to be hardcore horror film. Oh, gosh. So, that's what, we have, that's what we're going to be jumping into. Now, I don't know much about like Anthony Hopkins or Jodie Foster. I don't, I don't know if I've seen them in any movies. That they just said that they're in this particular movie. Okay. They're like the, the leading actors. Okay. Well, so, I'm excited. So we're going to wing it tonight in regards to just watching the movie and just, just catching the vibe. Yeah, I'm already nervous because it's horror. Y'all know how I get. Oh, I feel like y'all suggested this movie. This movie was highly suggested, y'all. Like, I think they just want to see our faces. Okay. I think y'all, I just want to see our faces. Y'all try to come over here one. and try to slide up underneath my cover and get all close and everything. Oh, and we got to. Like that. Yeah. We definitely got to. Nah, because if, 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 if it's horror. Do that. <laughs> if, if it's horror, you know, you know, if it's horror, you got to snuggle up. You scared? No, absolutely not. <laughs> y'all, I already got my little cover ready and everything. I don't care. I don't even... <laughs> I don't care what y'all say, okay? <laughs> no, nah, I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think I'm scared, but we about to see. You know, okay. I don't know. Well, I'm excited. I, yeah. I guess it's good that I don't know because I, I can't even assume like what's gonna happen. I literally have to watch it from the beginning to even find out how this yeah. story unfolds. Expect so. what you don't expect. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy our reaction to this. Yeah. We about to be jumping into our first horror film. I'm excited. The Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. So, so make yeah. sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell, y'all. Head over to the Patreon. Continue to make this channel so great. We appreciate all of our Patreons. Thank y'all so much for supporting us on this all journey, y'all. The love. All oh the my love gosh. And the support. Y'all are the we, best. We go through a lot of the comments, whether it's under the video or in Patreon. And man, we just appreciate all the love, all the support. And uh, man, we got y'all. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. Y'all ready? ready? Get your popcorn right, ready. That's how I used to say, y'all. Let's I get into it. <laughs> and let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it, it already starts out pretty. music. With this intro. They are in the it's woods. It's already bad. They're in the woods. They're in the woods somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know how I feel about the woods. Darling. Crawford wants to see you in his office. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, military, FBI. Okay. Okay, there we are. That's why she out there. FBI training. Uh oh. Bill skins. Bill skins. Fifth. Oh, Starline. Morning, Mr. Crawford. Your instructors tell me you're doing well. I hope so. They haven't posted any grades yet. We're interviewing all the serial killers for a psychobehavioral profile. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. You spook easily? I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. And who's the subject? Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. <coughs> Hannibal Lecter? Have your memo on my desk by 0800 Wednesday. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. 
and you're to tell him nothing personal, Starling. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Oh, he's a monster. The name oh. sounds crazy. He's a monster. A Hannibal. What kind of name is Hannibal Lecter? From a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. Prized so asset? He like, like he's like the number one serial killer or something. There are a lot of detectives here, but I can't ever remember one as attractive. Okay, you, you're creepy. <laughs> Can I just get to my job, please? It's too sophisticated for the standard tests. Oh my, does he hate us. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? Pretty young woman to turn him on. Huh? Oh, are you ever his taste, so to speak. Uh -oh. Look how long they walking. <laughs> <laughs> Why he not She's just eight. down the way? No pencils or pens, no staples or paper clips in his paper. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. I'm going to show you why we insist on such precautions. Look where they're going. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. The what doctors managed to reset her jaw, more or less, save one of her eyes. His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. What the heck? They said his pulse never got over 80, 85. It's like they're keeping an animal. Oh, wait. This music again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his hands. He said, oh, no. My name is Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. See, he already smart. <laughs> Closer, please. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Girl. Mm-mm. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. I'm here to learn from you. Sit, please. Okay, let me back Look up. Look he is looking at her. I know, like a piece of meat. His eyes are stone cold locked on her. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. The name came up again. Why do you think he removes their skins? It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No, oh, you ate yours. You send that through now. Oh, don't get close to the glass. He ate his victims? So chopped them up. Chop, chop. But you're not more than one generation from poor white trash. Oh. Ooh. And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia, was your father to as your coal miner, while you could only dream of getting out, getting all the way to the end. Oh, he made what me is nervous. that? A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Oh, no. Okay, get your papers and leave. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. You will not be hissing at me. <laughs> fly, fly, fly. Okay. He literally sat here and, and told her about her whole life in like two minutes. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Look at the blood! <laughs> This courtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Then do this test for me. Listen carefully. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. Go Doctor. now and go now! Oh, oh, that's, the cra that's the crazy war right there. I don't know if I want to go seek out anybody. It hit her in the eye, like on the face. Some type of body secretion. One of them. Those body secretions? <laughs> oh, nasty. Up. Don't move! You're dead, Starling. Where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the corner? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. Oh, uh, fatal mistake. Moffat. Any follow up on her? Unit 35, first leased for 10 years. Prepaid in full. Miss Hester Moffat. Why is she there so late? <laughs> That's a good question. I need to be there when the sun is up. You know? We about to be going into this old story that's like 10 years old. Stuck. Hand me that flashlight. Oh, uh-oh. What Watch is this. she about to see? Watch. Oh, gosh, babe. No. I would not have oh. one under that door. And it's late, too. At nighttime like At that. Night time, I right. can't see what's in front of me hardly. I got a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, you got to do this during the daytime. Everything says no. <laughs> This is a heck now. Heck to the no. Not right now. Mm -mm. Ha! She 
ain't doing too much digging. Uh-uh. I like it. I like it. She got to dig. I just want to see what she's going to find. No. What, what? No, babe. No, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. No way. Did you see that? That was in the car? That was a head. Yeah, in the car. The, the, in the storage. Esther Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, doctor? The rest of me, miss, the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? Do you know something about him? I might if I saw the case file. Listen how you're talking to her. I'm literally about to say that. Do you think Jack Crawford wants you sexually? Do you think he visualizes f***ing you? It's like she's going to go talk to a psychiatrist. Yeah, it's like he's already getting inside of her head, too. Mm-hmm. I've been in this room for eight years now, Clarice. I know they will never ever let me out while I'm alive. What I want is a view. I want a window where I can see a tree. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. Just the way he talks. I'll help you catch him, That's what Clarice. He, he kind of talked like a psychiatrist, too. Tell me who decapitated your patient, Doctor. All good things to those who wait. How long can you and old Jackie boy wait? Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. After all, it was a great big world. Searching for a lady. She was an American girl. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I already know. Look like somebody peeping. Is that, is that no Buffalo way. Bill? Watching her? He just said he was waiting for his next his victim. His next victim. Night vision goggles? Mm -mm. Oh no. I know you're not gonna say something to uh -uh. this man. Not I'll try to go over there and help. The no, 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 no. You man. better lift it on your own. You need to turn I around. You that? No. See? Thank you. That's oh. alright. Oh. Okay. Yeah, set it there. Oh no, she closest to the door. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. Look, 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 That's great. Hey, are you about a size 14? What? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Oh, you no. You see how he, how he just lured her in her like that? With this big oh, old van. No. That's the end of her. Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. Lake County, West Virginia. I still can't believe he lured her in that van like that, mm -hmm. though. Just so easy. They haven't shown what he's done to her yet. No. Excuse me, Sheriff Perkins. These are the FBI people. They probably about to show right now. Show what? What he did to that girl. Put Vicks vapor rub? Uh, that's what it looks like. They vapor rub on their nose. Clear the sinuses. Oh, they finna look at. Oh, make sure I don't smell it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, what is it? Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's dirt or grit under them. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. She's got something in her throat. Oh. Oh gosh, what is he about to do? Oh, what is he? Is he? Wait, 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 wait. What is it? What is that? That's a bug cocoon. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody's screaming. Yeah. It's almost like a little dungeon down there. Oh my gosh. Catherine Martin, daughter of Senator Ruth Martin, is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer known as... Ooh, the senator's daughter. Uh -oh. Catherine is very gentle and kind. Talk to her and you'll see. I wonder if he's he listening to this right now. 
Huh? I wonder if he's listening to that right now. I know. I told you this is just a routine follow-up. He case. is my patient. I have rights. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. I think you discuss this with him, or you let me do my job. Oh. Right. Like she Get out of my way. Okay. Move. Call the number on this car. The senator promises you a transfer to the VA Ooh. hospital at Oneida Park, New York, with a view of the woods nearby. Wow. You'd have reasonable access to books. Look at he just staring into space. And there you have it. A copy of the Buffalo Bill case file. A copy of the senator's offer. Catherine Martin dies. You get nothing. Ooh. Ooh. I see where this is going. She giving him too much information. I think. I think. She, she kind of got to tell him what's up so she can get some help, I guess. If I help you, Larry, it will be quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things about yourself. Uh-uh. Uh, that's what he want. Yes, and now Clarice. Poor little Catherine is waiting. Go, Doctor. Clarice. What is your worst memory of Oh, he said go. Death of my father. Tell me about it and don't lie or I'll know. He was a town marshal and one night he surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. My mother died when I was very young, so my father had become the whole world to me. Wow. Uh-uh. She telling it all. Right? That's what I'm saying. They don't never follow the rules. Quid pro quo, Doctor. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Miss Virginia? Yes, they all were. What else? She oh, had good. an object deliberately inserted into her throat. That hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Was it a butterfly? Oh. Yes, a moth. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is changed. Our belly wants to change, too. You're so close to the way you're going to catch him. Do you realize that? No, tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? Uh-oh. Don't tell him. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. Was it a cattle ranch? Sheep and horses. <laughs> Two months. Why so briefly? I ran away. Why, Clarice? Don't Did say the rancher it. make you perform fellatio? Oh! No. He was a very decent man. Look at the questions he asking. You tell me, I tell you, uh-uh. He be, he digging. Look for severe childhood disturbances. Our belly wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made. I knew it. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yes, you will, <laughs> Look at the dog. Look at a little bit, little bit of pooch pooch with him. Man, this is creepy, y'all. Now he places the lotion in the basket. Please. Please. Uh-oh. I want to see my mommy. Oh. Uh. Can you imagine, like, how scared she is? Look how scared she is. The lotion in the basket. <laughs> Look at all that blood. I see it. That's a fingernail. Man, he is psychotic. You can tell he's psychotic. What is the one with the lotion, though? I don't know. Ruth Martin, she never heard of any deal with you. They scammed you, Hannibal. There never was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. Of course, I work. Oh. Identify Buffalo Bill. And if the girl is found in time. Uh oh. That man thinking. He he's thinking sure hard. Is. He's thinking so hard. Don't Who me. is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. I told the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions of my own. You're trying to make sure he can't do nothing, spit nothing okay. out or nothing. I wouldn't be that close to him. Yeah. I know that. Especially with that pantsin right there, too. At least, they, at least he got out of the cell. <laughs> oh, man. Don't put him on that plane. Y'all better wrap that man in chains. Right. <laughs> oh, with the pen. They better not put him on a plane unless there's an a actual jail Look cell on the plane. Buffalo Bell's real name is Lewis Friend. I met That's him just once. Name. He was referred to me by my patient, Benjamin Raspell. They were lovers, you see. If I think of any more, I will let you know. Ugh. Mm-mm. Creepy. 
Access to lacquer is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. I don't think he's telling the truth, though. You don't think he's telling the truth about him? He's saying that Buffalo Bill is like, is like one of his actual patients mm -hmm. that had an affair with another one of his patients. Mm -hmm. Or that was in a entanglement. Not Entang an entanglement. You're entangled up. <laughs> you do know the rules, ma'am? Yes, Lieutenant Boyle. I've questioned him before. See? There she goes. Coming in with some <laughs> more <laughs> some more information. <laughs> ask some more questions. Okay, she's finna talk to Hannibal. Oh, now he in a in a nutshell. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> He upgraded. What? He didn't upgrade it for it's real. It's like they're keeping him on display like a bear or something, like a lion in a cage. You know? Good evening, Clarice. People will say we're in love. <laughs> She's like, that's the furthest thing right now. Your anagrams are showing, Dr. Lewis Friend. <sighs> Iron sulfide, also known as, as fool's gold. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. Well, I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask, what is it in itself? What is its nature? What does he do, this man you seek? He kills women. No, that is incidental. What needs does he serve by killing? Hmm. Sexual frustrations. Right? No, he covets. That is his nature. How do we begin to covet, Clarice? Do we seek out things to covet? No. No. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clarice? Don't your eyes seek out the things you want? All right, yes. Now please tell me how. No. You said no. Okay, say <laughs> no. After your father's murder, you went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana, and? Oh, he want to know. And one morning, I just ran away. Not just, Clarice. Mm. What set you off? You started at what time? Early. It's still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? How does he know all it is? Man, he's a hell of a psychiatrist. What was it? Uh-uh. None of your business. Screaming. He's getting in her head. He's I know. in. Lambs. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs? And you ran away? No. First, I tried to free them. I, I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there. They wouldn't run. She telling way too much. She telling it all. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? You hear the screaming of the lamb. Wow. Yes. Did you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb? Oh. Tell me his name, Doctor. Okay. Let's go. Tell me his name. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. I'd put you on a plane. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Clarice! Your case file. Goodbye, Clarice. Uh -uh. Oh! Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> That's uh uh. <laughs> that was slick. They need to bring the glass back. That was slick. That's Clarice. Not, that's not my hand. Your piece of paper. I'm, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna pour that. I'm gonna pour that right there. That was that was slick. <laughs> he needs to stay far far away from me. Next time we just need to do a phone visit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the access he needs. Next time I hand you the mail, I'll be like. Hey, Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> you need to move with all of that, okay? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh, is he drawing her? Oh, my God. Oh. Look with the lamb. Lilla, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's starting to think about her now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, no. Uh-oh, and they taking him food. Ready when you are, Doc. So they need to drop that in with a... Crane or something. Slide it in. Don't open that door. They want lamb chops. Oh, look at that. <gasps> He's about to open up that gate. That's a pen. Oh, no, babe. Some kind of way he was going to get out here. That's why he was looking at that pen so hard. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is about to get really bad. Oh, really, oh. really bad. Oh. Oh no, I don't even want to watch. Don't turn your back on me. Your back is turning everything. Ah! Jimmy, watch it, he's got it. Ah!
Look, 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 look. No, freaking. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, he better go to work. Ah. Uh. Thank you so much for the uh, lamb chops. How did he? Why did he? How? Why? Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. Nobody's even coming. Nobody. Free man. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm about to be sick. He just standing there playing classic music. Oh, God. Oh. You are lying. Dad. How can you even let somebody like that get away? Man, they got caught slipping. They got caught slipping. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. Oh, he in bad shape. He in bad, bad shape. How did they let this happen? How did they let that happen? Of all people. Main stairwell secured. We think he's on two. Oh, it's blood dripping. Oh, it's blood. I should have known. It's blood. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You need to get off of there. He's on the roof of the elevator. I don't think Is that's he? I don't know if that's going to be him. Why would he? That's too easy. But see, they think he might be wounded. And he's just hiding on top of the elevator. That's I don't know. too easy. Let's see who it is. Ooh, who is it? Uh. -huh. Now bound with a 50-year-old male uh -huh. police officer. That's not him! <gasps> Oh my god! No way! No! <laughs> Belvedere, Ohio. First girl taken, third body found. Why? Well, she didn't drift. He weighted her down. What did Lecter say about the first principles? Simplicity. What does this guy do? He covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. You know what? This took me for a major, major turn her. and a twist. I don't know, my head is just spinning right now. My, my head is just all, in all kinds of places right now. I have no idea. Something tell me this is about to like take a crazy twist. <laughs> it's already twisting. Yeah. It's already twisting. I sure appreciate you letting me take a look around, Mr. Bimmel. Her bedroom is how she left it. Upstairs. Oh, door that's to one the of the victims. Huh? That's one of the victims. One Thank of the victims' house. Where, you know, where she stayed at. Here you go oh, again. Oh, I'm just creeped Here you out. Go. I'm so creeped out. Oh, uh, what? Women's clothes. It is him. He's making himself a woman's suit out of real women. That's why they're all so big. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while so that he can loosen their skin. And what? We're on our way right now. Where? Calumet City, edge of Chicago. Johns Hopkins came up with some names. Subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. Well, Chicago's only 400 miles from here. I'll be there in... No, no. Not enough time. I need you to link him to the Bimmel girl before he's indicted. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. Uh-uh. No. She's, she's there. She already on the, she already on the trail. She's, he sent them to a different location. So all the cops are gone. Everybody's gone looking for him, and she's there and, by, her, and she by herself. The one, yeah. Oh gosh. She's the one that's actually like getting all the real information. Uh. 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 Oh, Come on, Come on, you don't want to mess don't with Don't piss him off. Oh no. Not precious. Oh no. Precious! Are you up there, you little shit? <laughs> Who do you f me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
She's trying to put a dog in there. Yeah. Ah. <gasps> uh. He's out of his mind. She, she said that he probably was socially awkward. Man, this guy is loony. He's out of his mind. Are they gonna find him? Ugh. Stacy, did Frederica ever mention a man named Jamie Gum? How about John Grant? No. She had a guy I'd have known, believe me. Did you two ever work together? Or? He used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Oh, no. So powerful, so beautiful. Precious. Oh, are they there? I hope they're at the house. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I got your best friend. Don't you hurt my dog! Uh oh. Oh, now he about to lose his uh oh. Oh. <laughs> he looking like, please, y'all, please, something happen, please save me. Hey, I'm coming. We're going in. Back, right? Good afternoon. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. Well, Lippman's don't live here anymore. Uh, they're not there. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was the house. Oh no. Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. But she's there. No one here, Jack. She is there. Look, look. They gave uh -oh. me the wrong address. Oh no. She's at the right address. Well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lippman. Did you know her? Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. And Mrs. Lippman had a son. I got, I got his card in here someplace. Do you want to come in while I look for it? May I? Yes. Oh! He has, oh, the facade, okay? He has like such a like personable personality, like, oh yeah, sure. Just come right on in. I would have stayed right there on that porch. It's, oh. it's six feet away, okay? I was almost sure that the cops were at the right house. I did too. Oh no. Did you take over this place after Mrs. Littman died, is that right? Yeah, I bought this house two years ago. Oh, look. Oh. Ooh. That means run, right? Freeze! Hands in the back, thumbs up. Freeze! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, no, I'm going back out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm not going to do I know that. he didn't run down. I think he ran down there. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I cannot see. Oh, no. She didn't check the corner. Now, she didn't even check everything all the way at the top. No. You remember her training, right? Oh gosh! Check the corner, please. Babe. <laughs> he ended the stairs. She was bad at checking the corners. Babe, <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, corner. What is she doing? Oh no, don't go through the doors. Promise you I won't. Go through the doors. The door. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> hey. hey, right there, babe. <laughs> Far in, hey, there's no oh, way. She already, she already down in that little. You're all right, Catherine. Now, where is he? How the fuck did I know? Just get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No, don't you leave me here, you <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Look at all those moths flying around. No. Oh, babe, he's coming. It's so dark in there, too. Oh, no. Oh, I see shadow. I just saw shadow. Oh, yeah, dude, hit, hit the light. Please hit the light. I saw shadow. Baby, he's 
just yeah. watching her. <gasps> oh my gosh. It must be like pitch black right there. She can't see nothing probably. She literally cannot see. What? <gasps> give me the cover back. No, give me the cover back. Oh no, baby, he's right there. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> She's like in the pitch black Look dark. Back. Corner, please. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, she got him. Oh my god. Put gosh. it on him. She put it on him. Oh. Oh, that was so close. That was oh. so close. Oh. He literally could she touch got her. Him, I know. He could literally could touch her face. She holding the up senator's the dog. daughter. She gonna probably keep that dog in. Here. I'm not keeping that dog. Uh uh. <laughs> this dog got. I'm not keeping this dog. This dog pissed me off while I was down there. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bad memories, huh? Yeah. Oh man. Clarice M. Starling. Congratulations. Oh, I thought he was gonna like pop out of something somewhere <laughs> and be in the crowd. I know. Because they still haven't got here. There's only one burning question right now. Where is he? Right. Phone call. Excuse me, Jeff. Starling? Oh, no. A phone call. Starling. Yeah, said about him. Wow, Clarice. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Where are you, Dr. Lecter? I have no plans to call on you. The world's more interesting with you in it. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know I can't make that promise. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh! Oh! Dang, that's so creepy. He is cold. cold I'm having an old creepy, friend for dinner. Cold, creepy, and calculated. Oh, he is like in Africa somewhere. <laughs> Barbados or something. Ducked off. In the, yeah, right? In the Caribbean. <laughs> in DR somewhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's where he got to be at. Just blending right on in. No, he doesn't blend in. Well, not quite. <laughs> not quite. <yeah. laughs> he tried yeah. to blend in. Let's say he tried he to blend, blend in. in. Oh, wow. That's how it ends. With him walking away Everybody into a crowd of people. Everybody looked regular. He, he looked creepy. He walking down the street like Dang, no golly. <laughs> No, he don't blend in, y'all. He don't blend in. Okay? Um, I'm, I mean, he blend in in regards to just... <laughs> Looking like a person. In regards to just being unassuming, I guess you can say. Yeah. Everybody just running around, doing their own thing. Just, he just unassumed. Nobody is, has a clue he, what, what he up to. Yeah, y'all. So, oh, this so, was good. So it ended with uh, Hannibal Lecter saying that I'm fixing to go and have an, an old, old friend, friend for, for dinner. dinner. <laughs> How okay. creepy is that out of all the stuff that he told her? It won't take long for them to locate where he's at considering like the crime that he's probably going to commit when he's there. The thing is like, how the heck did he even get out of the country to be able to escape after he did something like that, that fast? And, he's in and then country. he didn't even get like, they didn't even get him. That's a good question. That's a good question in regards to that, like how he just got out. But I... The way that he did it, the way that he was in the ambulance. So and, did they? Are they not ever going to catch him? I don't know. We have. I don't know. This is just the first. The Silence of the Lambs. I don't know. But for him to be laying in the ambulance. Is there a Silence of the Lambs too? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, she asked him. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to look. We're going to have to like, read the comments. I have no idea. Surely there has to be something that shows this man getting caught. There, that's, there, there's, like I said before, there, there's something else in regards to Because I know there's like Hannibal. There's a movie called Hannibal, but I don't know if there's a Silence of the Lambs, too. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out, like, I don't know, like, the crazy part to me was, like, 
when he like switched like identities with the police officer and then he laying in the ambulance right thinking like he breathing like right he, he barely holding on to life like how did he even get that out? was but then throw. he had a bloody face did you see he took the whole face yeah. off like he took the face to, off. to make himself look like he like beat up and everything yeah. and then he put the other guy on the elevator yeah. And, ch and change his clothes. Right. The guy that he beat up. But see, when the guy didn't move on the elevator, I was like, okay, that can't be him. Right. But he took... What in the world, y'all? Like... That, I think that was, a, that was the suspenseful part of it right there, too. Because it was like, okay, if, if it's not him, if it's not the guy that's hanging up on the, you know, in the jail cell, where's Hannibal? And then, it, and then it showed that he's in the ambulance. I was like, that is so genius. Of a psychotic, psychiatrist, right? serial killer Couldn't to do something been, like that. Oh man, it's like he pre, <laughs> like he thought about all of these things Why before he was just it even there, actually right? happened. Like how he was gonna escape, how he was gonna leave, how he was you gonna get what? out. Like everything was like calculated, almost like to a T. Even <laughs> even he got into her head. He got into her head to get her to do all those things for him, so that. She could have him moved, and so he could make that happen. Lower security. But but everything that the guy told her not to do, she did. She did it. And that's what led up to Hannibal being able to get to where he was at so quick. Yeah. Don't let him get in your head. Don't mm -hmm. get close to the glass. Don't tell don't him anything him about any, yourself. Don't give him anything personal about yourself. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. yeah. And it was like he used that in a way to like to make her, her comfortable yeah. and make him feel like, you know, he... Kind of knew what he was talking about. It sounded like he knew what he was talking about. That and then so that she could tell him everything. But then the way she kind of started figuring everything out was like she was saying, well, Dr. Dr. Hannibal said this, Dr. Hannibal said that. Like it right. was almost like she was replaying everything he had already told her that he was going to do, only mm -hmm. he told her in a different way. Mm -hmm. And she was putting it all together. That's how it, she solved it. Because it, it's like he almost had it planned out. You know? But who was... So what was the connect? So the connection between him and Billy, uh, uh, Buffalo Bill, mm -hmm. or Jack, was, or whoever's name. Yeah, was. was that he was a patient of his, a right? Previous patient, right? So that's all he knew about him. And outside of that, you know, obviously him sitting but down. But he kind of did the same thing then, right? Like, but, but with him sitting down with patients, that, that gives him an idea of know how that person thinks. So that's why he was so easily able to tell her stuff about him. So it's it's almost like an exchange. It's like you tell me about you, and I'm gonna force you, and I'm right. <laughs> you give me some, and I'm gonna give you. Some, I'm gonna give you a little bit too. You, he used it against you, her. You give me an inch, I give you an inch. Oh, this you guy's get, you like give me a foot, I'm gonna give you a foot. A genius creep, though, <laughs> like a smart genius creep at that. Like yes, yeah. The and, way he talked to her, like yeah, please, like and, oh please I don't, know. like stop with the voice. I know. <laughs> And, and, like, and, for him, and, and for him to already, at the beginning, they already kind of made it known, made it official that he was like a doctor, psychiatrist, yeah. and serial killer. So I'm like, okay, he, he he's way beyond, you know, his years in regards to like other serial killers, how other serial killers would think because he's already interviewed serial killers and he already knows how they think. Like he probably, he's probably like the best of the best. Yeah. Due to just like his, his psyche. Yeah. You know? so this was such a good, I love, I love the storyline to this, like. The, the way it was like plotted out was like a plot twist to the end. <laughs> to the end. And I was thinking, you had me thinking that this was just going to be outright, just d <laughs> super crazy, horrific, scary. I like it like wasn't it scary, it was more suspenseful. It was suspenseful, but to me, the <laughs> horror in regards to just like... I didn't think they were going to get that girl out of that, that, they that were well, like though. mutilating people, the, the women, and just like what they were doing. And like, it's almost like this movie is like taking you inside the mind of a serial killer right. to a degree. I think that's more than it's anything for like me. Give you like the heat, ooh, like. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, to me, it still, still, still was, it still, you know, lived up to a horror, but definitely like a thriller, suspense. Yeah. Like not knowing what's going to happen next. I think that that's what creates like a great movie right here because this is good. literally up to the very, very end, it was like every turn you didn't know what to do, and then at the end he had it was like this, like and this, he was about he was to like... touch her. I was like. It was almost like he, he wanted didn't know to touch he her so like... bad because he wanted to touch her so bad, and he was like, <laughs> "No, I should just kill her." It's like, no, just. He's like, I just want to touch. No, I should just. There is no, no way I would have even stepped <laughs> foot in that learning. room. She could not see anything. She literally was feeling around the room to, mm -hmm. to turn corners. Yep. Absolutely not. You got me messed up. And and I'm gonna leave it at this right here. 
And at the very, very end, she used the training. You know, when she made that mistake in training and that she, she got had. killed in training, yep. she used the exact same. Like it was almost like she was waiting for that moment. Yeah. To to, to redeem herself, and she did it. <laughs> she did it. She did it. She saved her own life. Yeah. If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell, join this family. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. We appreciate y'all for pulling up. Yeah. Mwah. We love y'all. <laughs> Bye.